Hi everyone, and welcome to this episode of the cast. This episode is going to be a little different from my usual unboxing episodes, especially for the Funko Pops, because this is my first Funko Pop that I ever got, the Voltron, the original Voltron from the 80s, the anime show that I used to watch when I was young, Voltron, with all the lions all joined together and the sword but I already unboxed it because this was my first one. So in all honesty and transparency, whatever you want to call it, I'm not going to pretend that I'm unboxing something that I already unboxed. This is um, my first Funko Pop Voltron. So I'm going to show it off here. Um, it's an older one. Um, this is age 14 and up. So I'm not sure if this was real or if it's a um, uh, counterfeit uh, knockoff. But I like it. I got it at a local Toys R Us, so I'm not sure if they were selling knockoffs, but I did get this at a local Toys R Us in Glens Falls, New York here, and I just had to get it. I was originally, I'll just do a little spin here of the box here as I'm rambling on here, but I had to get it. Um, I was originally resistant to buying Funko Pops because I thought they were very, I didn't know how useful they were. Um, they're kind of um, just a thing, not really anything I was really interested in. I kind of thought they were a waste of money, but I saw Voltron, and I just, I honestly had to have it. It was uh, kind of an impulse buy. But there you have the box art right there. Here's the top of the box and the bottom. But let's take a closer look at the pop itself. So here you have very large head here of the of Voltron and the black the black lion here and the uh, the ears or horns that flip out from the ti uh, from the lion I keep on to say tiger but uh, I like the little nubs here of the of the the teeth here it's kind of kind of cute there you can see that the little, little nubs for teeth and you got the whiskers I uh, have the sword here an extended the extended sword that sword that the red lion is holding here in its mouth. We have an accurate version of the pretty accurate version of the, the chest piece here of the coat of arms there. And the, the belt buckle there is the star. There's a star there. You have the yellow lion and the blue lion. And the lastly the, the green lion, the more rounded lion there. Let's take a look at the back here with the different, the blue lion, the yellow lion. On the back here, these wings here, they don't extend out like they usually do, but there's a, obviously a Funko Pop version of it. So, there's, it's flat It's flat against the back here. Here's the tail that of the black lion that flips up into the back, it's, it's back when it's a robot uh, version. And coming around, let's see at the bottom here. So here it says T, M, and C. So trademark and copyright WEP is the number A318 here. And on the blue foot here, it says Funko LLC 2015 www.funko.com made in China. So hopefully that's accurate there. But as far as the accuracy of the, the detail of the lion, it's pretty detailed. I mean, I don't have any problem with it. I mean, I notice a lot of these knockoffs are very detailed, and you can't really tell the difference between the real one and the knockoff, other than slight and subtle uh, variations in the paint. But I honestly don't know why somebody would take so much time to make a knockoff just to make um ten, twelve dollars, or whatever they would they would make selling it to um, a store. But there you have it. So there you have the Funko Pop version of Voltron, number 70. My first Funko Pop showing off. So thanks again for coming to this episode of the CAS. Please like and subscribe, and I will see you later. Thanks. Bye.